Hey guys, good evening. I just showered and I just did my skin. What I did was I went in and um, I washed it, took off all my makeup and then um, I exfoliated. And then I went in and I um, decided to try the Summer Fridays um, mask. So I went in, I left that on for about 15 minutes or so. And um, you can leave it on for up to, to 10 minutes. It felt so nice. It goes on really smooth. I think I used way more than I needed to. I was like, oh, you know, it's like a cream, but it is thick and it does go a very long way. And yes, it actually is very hydrating. And now for me, I am actually very, very oily, especially here in the T-zone. Um, but this felt beautiful. Um, give me one second. Let me let my dog out. Come on, Tail. Go. Dogs can never make up their mind. They want in, out, in, out. Anyways, so sorry. Back to it. I'm trying to get in close so you guys can see my skin. I don't have the greatest skin. Um, I have little acne bumps. They're super tiny. This is new, but they're there, and um, there's a little old one. But for the most part, my skin feels really good right now, super fresh. And uh, so, yeah, I went in with this. I maybe left it on longer. I took my face halo with warm water, and then I gently went in, and I removed it. So, my next step is, after I did that, since it was hydrating, um, yes, I exfoliated, but this is my favorite toner. It's almost gone. I have backup. This is the Ola Henriksen, the Glow Dark Spot Toner, best toner in the world, hands down. I have tried almost all of them out there, I feel like, on the market at this point, but this one is really, really good. So I went in with that, and then um, I usually go in with a essence, but I didn't for a certain reason because I'm testing out some new products. So this from the Inky List, the um collagen booster that plumps the skin i have been going in with this is liquid you don't need a lot i take it it's a little bit sticky but you can use it you can mix it with whatever you're using and um that's all i have on right now so that those are my steps now um i just received my jlo skincare in the mail so which one is this one here is going to be your daytime one. It has a sunscreen and um, it's SPF 30. Now, we all hear the term, the word sunscreen. Yes, it could be winter. It could be fall. You could be in the middle of Alaska in the cold and the storm where you don't get sun or whatever. But it doesn't matter. Sunscreen is actually very, very important. And to me... Personally, I believe sunscreen is the number one anti-aging skincare product out there that we don't realize. Um, and I love that she came out with this. So I don't know much about it. Um, so we'll re just read it. It's healthy skin is vibrant skin. I'm amazed at how glowy and hydrated my skin looks. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing sunscreen. And that's the big key. When you're wearing sunscreen, you don't want the smell and you do not want to know that you have it on. It can be oily. Sometimes it can be, um, I don't know. There's so many different forms to them. So, but luminous protection inside. Let's open this up and I'll just show you guys. Look at when you open it, it's like gold. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Why am I so excited? JLo Beauty Big Sunscreen. Ah, so excited. Let's open her up. I have an eye thing in there. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. This is so bougie, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. Oh. <gasps> Even, like, the lid is like this. I do live in California, so this is kind of nice for me to have my sunscreen daily, but that's what she looks like. Definitely smells like sunscreen, though. Definitely smell the sunscreen in there, but um, I'm not using this tonight. I'm going to use it in the morning, and I know that I can wear it underneath makeup, 
And um, it looks like it's going to be very creamy. I see a little tint to it. And it looks like it's definitely going to give you a glow. And definitely sit nice um, under skin. I'm just excited to try these products. So, all right. So, this is what we're going in with tonight. This is JLo Beauty once again. This is the other new one. Plump Hydrate um, th with the olive one. Blockbuster in a non Stop Wonder Cream right here. Endless hydration inside. So this is the one that we are going to go in with tonight. And you guys get to try it with me. So I'm super excited. Um, and then after I go in with that, um, I've recently just tried this. And I've been using this just on my chest and on my neck. And I really, really like this so far. But I just did my um, sunless tanning. So I'm not going in with that. So... I just wanted to keep it simple. So we cleanse the skin, right? We exfoliated. We did a nice hydrating mask. We went in with our toner. We went in with our treatment. And now we are going to go in with our moisturizer, which also works as this one does as an anti-aging cream as well. If this was just a moisturizer and I didn't need it, I might go in with this wrinkle cream or something different. But those are the steps that um, I am personally taking. So here we go. Um, yes. Ooh, this is thick. Look at that. that. Compared to the sunscreen one, this is not even budge, y'all. Okay, here we go. I don't... I'm just, Oh, wow. It's actually really, really thick. Like, you can see I'm trying to get into it, and it's that, it feels like jello almost. All right, so I'm just going to take maybe that much. I don't think I need a lot. I'm going to take it, and what we're going to do is the normal routine. You want to warm the product up, warm it up, and once it's warm in your fingers, you're just going to take it, and we're just going to apply this really nicely. I did not get the eye cream. So I'm ex I don't feel like I need to spend extra money on eye cream because I can use these for eye cream. But this feels really nice. I keep looking at myself so my eyes are like over there and I should be here. But that's just how it is. Always massage. And I like to massage right here. I take my two fingers. And I know that I have mentioned before about my jaw surgeries. And right there is where I massage, and then I just massage upward like that. So I give myself a facial massage as I'm doing it. So you want to massage the skin, muscles, just pretty much everything. Also, my next video, you guys, I have a lip pack, and you guys are going to die. But look at that. I did not use that much, and you could just see that... Um. It's definitely super nice, moisturized. My skin looks really moisturized. Oh, super smooth. I am going to buy the um, serum too, but I wasn't sure. I didn't want to buy all of it if I didn't like it because I just have so much skincare. But I know you guys want to know, so I bought the necessities. So I know these eyebrows are just a hot mess, but I don't have that many. So all right, you guys. Skin feels good. We got our massage on. If you don't give yourself a facial mas massage, you are missing it. Oh, all, oh, I can feel all the tension in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That felt so, so nice. Well, there's that. So, I am super, super excited. Especially just because that little bit that we used, as you saw went a very long way and yes i massaged it into the skin i have a feeling i'm gonna like this and i like it even more because the packaging looks like it's worth a million dollars and i feel like i'm walking around like yes 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 we all like to feel like uh, uh bougie queens don't we all right so for my last step i had mentioned in my video um the last one i uploaded that i got this lash um md um, I don't care about my eyebrows. I draw them in. I know that they're not going to go anywhere. But for the this is going to be day one. Because um, I want you guys to see in person my lashes. They are very, very light. Um, I don't have that that many. This is them from the side. As you can see, they are very, very blonde. So this is going to be day one. Give me, it says three weeks to start noticing a difference. 
I say, uh, we'll check back in three weeks. Maybe I'll do three, six, and then nine. I was just going to wait, but I'll do the three, six, nine, and then we'll see. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to take it. And then I'm just going to sweep it over. I'm trying to look in the mirror. All right. Should I do underneath? Yeah, why not? I get nervous with this stuff because I've tried one of these before and I don't know um, exactly what brand it was. And I don't remember, but I remember that um, my whole eye completely um, broke out from it and I was not happy. But yeah, if you look at that, you can just see, I don't, I mean, I have lashes, but they're not anything spectacular, exciting. <laughs> they're basic. All right, so I do have a little bit of that mascara on. I use the Huda eyeliner, and I'm telling you guys, along with that Too Faced 36 new one, that um eyeliner, it does not come off. I mean, between washing my face and everything that um I do, you think that it would come off, but it doesn't. All right, you guys, so we got our eyelash growth on. We did our skincare. Don't you love doing skincare with somebody? It's my favorite. Just trying to make sure that I get it right in the root is where I want it. Right, just kind of on top. Let it sit. And we did underneath. I have no eyelashes, like right there. They're on the corner. All right, so. You guys see step one with me on my lashes. This is day one. I'm super excited. We're going to see how this goes. I don't know why, but this is like one of my favorite videos that I think I've ever done. But um, yeah, we're going to give this a go. And I will let you guys know how my skin um, holds up. And then in the morning, I'm going to test out the um, other one. But um, yes, I am. Ooh. I'm really, really excited to try the daytime one. Yes, it did smell like sunscreen, but fingers crossed. I think it's going to be amazing. All right. Thank you guys so much for getting ready for bed with me. Thank you guys if you stuck through this whole video. And also, thank you for watching. You're amazing. And um, I hope that you have an awesome night, day. And um, I just want to spread positivity, positivity if you're going through anything no matter what it is, always remember that there's nothing in this world that we cannot handle. God does not put us through anything that he does not think that we can handle. Yeah, if we feel be down, we feel like we're at the end. But God knows that you can get through it. And you just got to push yourself to get through it. it everything's mental. You got just have to tell yourself that you can do it and you can. All right, good night. And I love you guys. Bye.